the most amazing thing to me about the Cates is how they have handled the whole situation just calmly with faith and hope that everything was going to be okay. But to have what happened to them and lose everything, it's been amazing to watch these folks and they're not worried about anything. I was working part-time down in Gatlinburg at the local elementary school and it was just an odd feeling all day long. The sky was so orange and trying to calm a bunch of seven and eight year olds because it just doesn't look right outside. You know, we just had that feeling. So I guess all day long I'd had that feeling that something just wasn't right. We'd gotten phone calls from friends and from different people telling us that there was fire down below us here and coming up from the backside. We kind of got it from both directions. Um, didn't really, I didn't see it. The fire was not up here when I left, but it was very smoky and very high winds. When I, we had a big covered porch on the front, and when, I, when we were evacuating, the porch was blowing out at my car when we were leaving. So it was time to get out at that point. It was time to go. At 4 a.m. in the morning, she wakes me up. She's crying. I was on Facebook the entire night. I had my phone just laying there. So I was constantly looking at pictures and updates. And when I saw that Westgate down here at the bottom of the hill, just right below us, was on fire, burning up, I knew then that there was no way that our homes up that road had survived. So if they, if Westgate was burning and they couldn't stop that big of a business from going, you know, I, that's when I knew. The second I posted it to Facebook that our house was gone, you got 30, 40 texts, I got yeah. 30 or 40 texts. People were like, we're Our immediate gonna... needs were met. Yeah. Within within minutes of us posting and telling everyone our house was gone, we had, because at that point we had nothing, and so within minutes we had closing again. We had offers for household stuff. It was just immediate. The local community really helped, but saying that, even the, the far away, community. Local yeah. churches have stepped Look. up and just brought us, they brought us checks those first couple of weeks to help just with immediate needs. Mm -hmm. And then Dolly Foundation has been amazing immediately coming up with the money to help and us people, all out. And people even a week ago yes. still stepped up with a large, large donation. check, large donation for, for, they knew that we didn't have any furniture and they said, I'm going to buy all your furniture for you. At first, we said we wasn't going to come back, uh, but but why not? I mean, this is a, I mean, you're talking about a gorgeous area, and uh, hey, other people in other states want to come here, so why wouldn't I just want to live here, right? So. Mm -hmm. It's like everything else in life. You feel every time different emotion. You feel happy. You feel sad that your that your other house is gone. You feel happy that you're getting a new house. You feel excited. I'm sure mm -hmm. that she's not having to stay with her in-laws that much longer. <laughs> <laughs> so so a bunch of different emotions. I like the island. She likes the island. I, mm -hmm. So, so mine would be the drywall. I love the love the the the, the rich look of it. I like, and li I like the roof, not the popcorn anymore. It's this, uh, and uh, whoever put together the middle seam is it's like like deserves a cookie, <laughs> a big one. <laughs> you thank the community. We've talked about that a lot. I don't know how you thank as many people who have helped us and there's just not enough words or enough no, to I mean, express I, the gratitude we have. You know, you always wonder, uh, you always wonder what God has, why did God do this? What if he didn't? What if he did it not for us at all? What if he did it for somebody else? And and maybe we're the example that's set to for somebody else and how we're supposed to react to something. Sometimes suffering on earth is not a bad thing, sometimes suffering on earth is to, to not even to hurt us, is to help somebody else. <laughs>